Lucy Slade, and I've got two rambunctious puppies here helping me show a little bit about bite inhibition and teething, our favorite subject. Um, Hazy is 10 weeks old, Ranger's nine weeks old, and we are in the throes of ba shark baby teeth and craziness, puppy crazies. Ranger's just here helping us out for a little bit. Um, Hazy has a very painful <coughs> shark puppy teeth, hi buddy, and uh, she needs to learn some bite inhibition. So as you can tell, I'm letting her chew on my fingers, and then she gets to, hi buddy, if, she, if he gets to, if they get too tough on it, <coughs> I will shriek like that. And did you see Ranger? He stopped. He stopped biting and he was like, oh, she means business. So that's what emulates a puppy is they, they start to scream when they get bit too hard. So I get to emulate myself like a puppy. And so I communicate in a language that makes more sense for my puppy. So teething is normal. Teething is going to last from when you get your puppy at eight weeks to probably about four months old. The worst time though is eight weeks to 12 weeks. So it's when they're starting to learn what this real world is all about. They're not with their litter mates. They're, they're teething everything. And so they don't really know. Ow! So he stopped. I leave my hand in his mouth. Now, obviously that's not, you can't do that all the time because they, they hurt you. And so sometimes I'll fold, oh, hi buddy. I'll fold in the cheek. So they're biting the cheek instead of my hand. So that's a good regulation. So they are like, oh, that kind of hurts. I I'm going to stop biting. So that's one way I do it. The other way is I let them I let them play on my hand. And, and then when they get too hard, I let them know. Um, and sometimes they're softer if they've been napping. So I tell them that they're being a good dog when they're doing that. So, but Hazy's a little bit rougher than Ranger. And so I have to work with her on controlling her biting. And one way I do that is I get an antler. So I, I give her something that she can chew on that she likes to chew. So I distract her with that. The other thing you can do is I've got like a moderately soft nylon bone. Come here, Ranger. That I'll give to Ranger or Hazy. And I'll hold it. So she can chew on it in my hands. And there's no harm, no foul. She learns that that's what we need to chew on. It's not Stacy. So see, she's going to town on this. It feels really good on those <coughs> growing baby teeth because they're getting in new teeth. Oh God, there's the apple. They're getting in new teeth and they want to chew. They want to get the soothe their gums. Frozen carrots, frozen apples work. Um, I use raw um, beef bones cut into little small uh, areas for the puppies from the from the butcher. Uh, great toys. The cheapest you can find are old uh, or uh, empty water bottles. Uh, they love the ouch, ouch. The crinkle of these. There's great toys for them to work with. In fact, they get very jealous. I've got some fun, fun toys that I that I work in distracting them. I also have a, a really squishy rubber ball that has knobs on it that they like to play with. So I'm going to take this one out because it's too noisy for a video. Sorry guys. So I have lots of different toys that they can work with. And of course there's good stuffy toys that are fun for them to, to play with and work with and have different textures. This one has leather on it as well. Um, and, then, and then there's also little puppy toys that are a little bit more rubber. They have little things. You wanna make sure that they're safe, that they can't, that they're not rope toys. Rope toys are kind of dangerous for puppies. Uh, so you want to make sure it's not a rope toy and rawhides are not good. Rawhides get stuck in the throat and they can choke them. So uh, maybe a rawhide for five minutes under supervision might be okay. But really stay away from the rope toys and the rawhides. Um, and anything that's consumable, make sure that they don't have enough that they can get sick and get diarrhea with. Um, that's super important. Ow! So don't be afraid to, 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 sell, to tell your puppy, easy, 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 to tell your puppy that they hurt you. And the biggest thing too is that people, ah, ah, easy, easy, easy. So I kind of put more of my arm in her mouth to stop her. And I'm gonna hold her because she's really fired up. I'm just gonna kind of hold her to chill her out right now. It's hazy, stop, 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 stop. Hey, monkey, hey, 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 good girl. Take it easy. They get fired up sometimes and sometimes it's good for a timeout. So I'll put her on the other side of an X-Pen. 
or outside because she's she's getting fired up right now um so making sure that they're successful so if they get too wired and they're getting too crazy like if you have kids uh this is really a challenge with toddlers so make sure if you're getting a puppy and you're you have toddlers make sure you have a plan to always always 100 percent watching your puppy whether the puppy is dragging a leash or the leash is attached to you so your puppy's always with you ow, ow, ow! and so that way it's management you cannot leave a puppy this size and this age alone <laughs> alone with a toddler because as you see what they just did they're playing they treat each other as toddlers and they're gonna see a toddler like that as well they're gonna they're gonna try and treat a little kid like a puppy so you really want to make sure you manage it until you can get the, they're old enough where you can teach them that they are not that their your child is not a puppy that they need to mind their manners and not bite them or steal their toys so this age is really hard you can't they don't come automatically knowing those things you have to work with them and keeping those things up you keep the puppy toy or the kid toys picked up when the puppy's down and maybe have an x pen in a space that's just for the puppy what'd you find you found a bone so these guys are busy they've got a lot going on so just like a toddler you've got to supervise them and make sure that they are being successful with what they have uh, in front of them or else they'll find something else to be successful with uh, or unsuccessful come here guys come on come here bump, bump, bump. whoa come here ranger good boy so these guys are pretty fired up right now um so i make sure that they have lots of good puppy toys down here to play with and to play to keep their mouths on so they're not chewing my furniture um, i'm always with them always watching what they're doing and i know where they're at um, but management with with these this age is you always have to know where they're at and if they're if you don't know where they're at you got to contain them into an x pen or a crate when you're not around so the biting does get better um, something that i've learned over the years is you see my slippers they don't have laces come here ranger they don't have laces i don't have shoes that have laces around the puppies i wear slip-on shoes i've got uh, slip-on tennis shoes slip-on slippers like this i just don't wear laces and my pants i'm okay if i get a hole in these pants because it's pup sharp puppy teeth and if they do grab my if they do grab my pants oh there's hazy if they do grab my pants i just pull their teeth off of them come here oh you guys are getting fired up come here Hazy. if they do grab my pants i just remove i just take their mouth pull out my pants because they probably are stuck on sharp teeth and say no no leave it leave it and I'll, I'll kind of sometimes I can almost kind of grab the cheek a little bit and, and hold it still so it doesn't rip my clothing so I'll grab cheek and pull out ow! Ow, ow, ow! Ow, ow, ow! good girl she stopped I got her attention so and the other thing too is I'm you can pet them underneath the throat because they can't get to you they're easy easy ow, ow, ow! yeah she's getting pretty fired up so I think it's time for a timeout for her because she's getting really amped up and very mouthy so as i'm gonna try and manage these two little firecrackers um in, enjoy your puppies but try and manage their teething because they are going through lots of growth right now and they need uh management that's how you get through this point so happy training and have lots of good toys but be firm and make sure they know that it's not okay for them to bite you and you can you can you can screech you can say ah, ah, that's a, I have a I have a sound that's ah. so when I when my puppy's grabbing my jean leg or something when she thinks that's fun my response to her is ah. you're pretty excited about that bone get it so enjoy your puppies they're a lot of fun they're a lot of work but just know when you get a puppy you have to have a management uh, program ready to go so enjoy your puppies happy training